In this tutorial, I'll show you how to download free version of Imparcadero C++ Builder version 10.2.3 and also I'll show you how to start your first C++ console application in this environment. First, go to Google and search for Imparcadero C Builder Starter Edition. Click on the first link in the search. It will take you to the download page. This version is also called Community Edition and it is a free full featured C++ IDE for creating native cross-platform iOS, Android, Windows and Mac operating systems. Click on the Get Community Edition free. You must first register with a valid email and password in order to get the, the registration key. Since I'm already registered, I'm logged in. Now click on the download now. And the download starts to your hard drive. After this file finishes, you go to the download folder and run, run it. And follow the steps for the installation. Since I already installed this software into my computer, I will cancel the download and run the software. This is the IDE for the Emparcadero C++ Builder 10.2.3. To start your first console application, first choose File, New, Others, console application ok keep changes as shown ok now mark the shown text delete it and write your first program my first program is hello world application which displays hello world on the console window and waits for a keystroke then exit first I will include some header files standard input output.h for the print function and conio.h for the get ch function printf hello world simply this is a program of course you can write any complex C and C++ application using same steps now you, you build this program by project build project 1 ok done without errors and run the program you can run the program from the main menu by run run F9 or you can click on the run button ok so this is hello world on the screen when you enter any key hit any key the screen will disappear so this is the program now you can save your project as save file save project as go to C drive <coughs> create a new folder with name 
hello and save your files as shown of course the names are generic that's all. Thank you.